Hi everybody! Since I had a lot of requests for the yarn body tutorial, I thought I would make it for you. Don't forget to share it, subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Uh, excuse the, if you can hear it, there is a um, car alarm going outside, so excuse the background noise. And I got a little itty bitty doggo here that likes to bark when she don't get attention, so excuse that too. But we try to do this anyway, or I try to do this anyway. For the yarn body, you will need a chunky yarn. I have used paint box yarns, simply chunky, because I think it's nice and easy to work with. I will leave a link in the comment below where I got mine. This yarn is 136 six meters on a 100 gram ball. This is the color 331. And this requires a six millimeter crochet hook. However, to get a little bit of a sturdier body, I am using a smaller hook than the yarn requires. So I am using a five millimeter crochet hook. You will also need scissors a needle and you will need buttons that you have chosen that you want to use so let's begin you will start by making a slip knot then you will chain eight so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chains. And in the first chain here, we will make a slip stitch, creating a circle. And this circle will be the opening where our yarn comes out of our yarn body. Now, to don't have this, I am crocheting it in. I am hiding it. So first, we chain one. And now we will make 12 single crochets over our chain. So we go through the hole, not through each chain. And we make 12 single crochets. Like that. Then we will slip stitch into our first stitch. See? This you will be able to hide later when you are hiding your ends. So you get a nice and neat circle. Now we'll chain one. And then we will make one single crochet and then an increase. An increase means two single crochets in the same stitch. And we'll repeat those two all around. So one single crochet and then an increase. So two single crochets in one. Get what it's zooming out. I got a new phone and I haven't quite figured out how to work it. Just 
seems when I move it zooms out and I don't like that. So, and then this will be left. It is still correct because we put our first stitch in the same as our slip stitch. So now we just slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, like so. Then we chain one. Then we make one single crochet in two stitches. And then an increase. One single crochet in two stitches. And then an increase. Continue to do that all the way around. And then we slip stitch. For each row around we get to, there will be one more single crochet before the increase. And we will work this until we have, uh, until we work the row with one single crochet in seven stitches and then one increase. Okay? So chain one. Now we will do one single crochet in three stitches and then an increase. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. I will leave a link in the comment section also. And there will also be a link for the written pattern for this yarn body in the comment. No, in the description section, not the comment section, sorry. Slip stitch and then chain one. As you can see, we do not turn on this part, but later on we will be turning our work. So now we do one single crochet in four stitches and then an increase. One single crochet in four stitches and then increase all the way around.
and we slip stitch <coughs> chain one and make five single crochets So one single crochet in five stitches and then an increase. One single crochet in five stitches and an increase. Basically, you could use any yarn for this yarn body and any hook size to make it the size yarn body you want. You can also add increase rows or add lengths or take away length on the yarn body. In this tutorial, I will show you two versions of the yarn body that you can easily make so when you have finished doing one single crochet in five stitches and in then increasing you will slip stitch together chain one and then make one single crochet in six stitches And then you will make an increase one single crochet in six stitches and an increase all the way around Now I skipped an increase.
we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch chain one and now we are on our last increase round we make one single crochet in seven stitches and then we do an increase So one single crochet in seven stitches and then increase all the way around. And then we slip stitch on top of our first stitch like this and we chain one now we're going to work in the back loop only the back loop is always the loop that is not facing you <laughs> facing the wall or out this is always the front loop no matter how you turn your work the back loop is always the loop that's facing the other way. So now we are working in the back loop only. We are making one single crochet in each back loop. From now on, we will not be joining our work, we'll be work turning our work. So when we finish each row, we'll chain one and turn.
so when you have made 54 single crochets working in the back loop only you will then chain one and turn now including row 21 will be just one single crochet in each stitch with one chain and turning your work so one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you will have 45 single crochets for each row so if you want to you can pause the video here until you have done 21 rows of this or no not 21 rows in total until you are finished with row 21 this is round 10 okay so for 11 rows you will be doing this you can pause me now and I and we will continue on row 22 when you have finished row 21 you will then do another row with one single crochet in each stitch the only difference is when you get to the end of this row you will chain 10 instead of just one I will do on my website there is a tutorial for how to get straight and neat, neat edges when doing this yarn body so when you reach the end of row 22 you will then chain 10 this is for our closure the button will then be on the other side you will then turn we will now skip the chain 10 that we just did and in the first stitch we will make one single crochet then we'll make one single crochet all the way to the end and chain one and turn we will then continue doing rows of one single crochet in each stitch chain one and turn until we reach row 38 so just continue with what you did before you made a closure like this all the way until you reach have made row 38 so you can now pause me again and continue playing the video when you have done row 38. When you have completed row 38 with one single crochet in each stitch, you will then slip stitch the opening together in the first stitch of row, of row 38. So we slip stitch it together like this so we have the opening of our yarn body okay now we chain one and we do not turn our work so first we make one single crochet in seven stitches we will be decreasing now And the decrease means that you make two single crochets into one so first you go through the first back loop then the second back loop yarn over and through and then we make seven single crochets 
remember to work in back loop only. I don't remember if I said that when I started this round. But hopefully you saw me working in the back row. And then we make a decrease. Two back loops, creating three yarn over and through all three. We continue like this all the way around. Remember now you will be joining your work. You will be slip stitching into your first stitch and you will not be turning your work. Now I thought so I lost my count. That was correct. To make sure this video isn't too long, I will only show you this round of decrease and the next, because then it's just a matter of counting. And then we'll skip straight to the end and I will show you how to make the pocket. And if, if you want to, you can add a strap, but I won't show that in the video, simply because <laughs> the tutorial will be so long. And the strap is fairly simple. And then we slip stitch into the top of our first stitch. Like so. And remember, do not turn. Chain one. And now we work one single crochet in six stitches. The decrease will work exactly the same as the increase. So for each round, we will have one less single crochet between the decreases. And now we are working through both loops. So one single crochet and six stitches and decrease. Next round will be five, one single crochet and five stitches and a decrease and then four single crochets decrease and then three single crochets and a decrease so it just goes like that until you can sew your whole shut or you can leave it skipping the last decrease and have yarn come out of two ends oh no now i really lost track shoot Maybe don't talk so much while I crochet, then it would be easier. But you get the point. And if you need help with your counts on your decrease, you can read the written pattern I have listed below in the descriptions. So you can pause me now and continue to do the decrease rounds. And uh, when you're finished with that, I will show you how to do the pocket. And then we are done, more or less, add buttons and such. But yeah, pause me now. See you soon. 
when you have worked the round here when you, when you have made one single crochet one decrease one single crochet one decrease and so on you can choose to leave this end open to have a yarn hole sticking out of both your ends so you can have two separate balls and crochet with two colors at the same time or you will just proceed with the decrease chain one and now we decrease only so decrease decrease all the way around after this round you can also choose to leave the hole open if you prefer a bit of a smaller hole or you slip stitch into the first stitch as normal but then you pull your your yarn so we have enough yarn to sew this hole shut how I like to do that so I take my needle and then I just go up and down in between my stitches see and then I fasten my yarn and hide my ends in previous stitches and that's the base for your yarn buddy with one hole here and no hole here if you didn't leave a hole now we will start with the pocket I will just show you how the first two rows and then you will be on your own when you fasten the pocket you choose which side you want it on you can either place it here like this and then you sew three ends and leave the top end open here and you can sew a line in the middle of the pocket also so you have two small pockets or if you choose to you can make a standing yarn body that my camera catches this a standing yarn body then you put the pocket like this so the holes are sticking upwards that's great if you have um, if you are making it to as a present for a knitter maybe mm -hmm. that likes to have the knitting knitting needle standing up and you will still have your yarn hole here and you, then you can place your strap like this instead of like this hope that made sense oh sorry I zoomed so I will show you how to start the pocket and then you're on your own you can make the pocket as deep as you would like I chose to make the pocket 15 rows but you can make it as deep as you would like and for the strap I just take a new yarn and for the strap later you will simply chain six and in the second chain from your hook you will make one single crochet and each row will cons consist of five single crochets you can choose how long you want to make your strap if you want to have buttonholes for a removable strap or if you just sew your strap in place or simply just create the handle 
it's all up to you. You can join my Facebook group, Crochet Corner. There you will see lots of examples of people having their own imagination and customizing the yarn body to fit their needs. It's awesome. People make... I love seeing my patterns come to life and my ideas. It makes me very happy. And before we start, I just want to explain something. As a designer, I so appreciate appreciate it when people share my links because it helps me attract more visitors to my web page and it helps me remove some ads simply because the more people that visit the less ads I need to to support my family each month if I say so so if you have a favorite designer that shares free patterns or something share their links just to show them support it will help them be able to create more free patterns for all of you okay and don't forget to comment below subscribe and leave a thumbs up okay so let's start with the pocket you will simply chain 26 26 like so so it fits here or if you want to make a standing yarn body you can simply just chain more so you have a pocket all the way around and a little bit more support for a standing yarn body yeah it's totally totally up to you but this is the pocket in the pat written pattern and in the second chain from your hook here you will simply make one single crochet then one single crochet in each chain so you will have 25 single crochets when each row is done when you finish each each row you will chain one and turn and then work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across and then chain one and turn and continue to do so until you have 15 rows but as i said you can add more or take away or whatever you want the yarn body is supposed to fit your needs not mine and this simply was what i needed when i crochet So when you reach the last single crochet, you will chain one and turn. Remember, you need to put a stitch here because the chain one does not count as a stitch. If you do not put a stitch here, you will get this triangle shaped pocket. And just continue to do so all the way across. And as I said before, when you attach your pocket you will be sewing three ends both sides and the bottom and leaving the top open to put put stuff in it i hope that this tutorial helped i i'm sorry i couldn't complete the whole bag for you but the video would simply be too long if you have any trouble Please write a comment and I will answer you as best as I can. And uh, don't forget to join my Facebook group. Share the link. I would so appreciate it. And I would love to see your yarn buddy. So share it in groups. So I can see it. Thank you so much. Bye bye.